sure you subscribe. Click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Support us on Patreon. Like us on Facebook and Instagram at Model Railroad Techniques. Hi guys and welcome back. This is Darren from MRT. This week it's uh, 10 minute modeling hacks on making static grass flowers. If you want to learn how to make gorgeous little flowers like these little ones here, stick around. I'll show you how to do it quickly, cheaply and really easily. So let's go through some of the items needed to make this static grass. So you can see in that picture there, I use at least three, sometimes four types of static grass, such as a four and a half mil grass flock, summer color, the dark green. Then I use an early fall, which is a lighter green. And you can see in the far right, the beige color, uh, all four and a half mil in length. So on this occasion, I also use this lime green from Green Stuff World, which is a a wargaming terrain supply so that's uh, six mil in length that static grass so what machine do i use to add the charge to make this static grass stand up so that's what i've got i've got two static grass machines one is a knock grass master but the one at the top is the one i'm actually using which is uh, quite a nice little uh, grass machine that uh, made of mine made up uh, very very cheaply so how i make the flowers is you can see there pico mustard field which is yellow color and the next one is Pico poppy field. So these are just ground, sort of like ground foam type stuff that I use for the flowers. And the final color I use is like the purpley color, which is a woodland scenics, which is a flowering foliage, uh, which I just sprinkle on as well. So I'll put uh, a link to all these below, um, but obviously you can use whatever colors you like. Okay, first thing you need is some PVA type glue. I use super tacky glue because it just goes off uh, a lot quicker. So that little jig thing you can see there i bought that online i'll put a, a link up in the description there where i got that from so basically what that is that just um little circles so those bigger ones at the bottom they're about a pea size right the way through to probably a grain of rice at the top there you can see where i'm at adding the glue so it's just a matter of putting a nice dollop of glue in each one of those little uh, circles there just be careful you don't touch each glob of glue to the, the one next to it okay i won't bore you with uh, doing the rest of all those glue globs so it takes just a few minutes to do that so once you sort of finish that it's a matter of getting the, the grass machine out so I actually use a homemade one I'll put a link to the video up above for Luke Towns channel um, this is how I made this one so just a little bit of description of some of the stuff I've got there I've got a you'll see the, the little gleaming bit there on the bottom left that's actually a, an old biscuit tin so on top of that's just some old sticker paper so what that actually does is creates the circuit uh, within the static. So I'll show you that shortly. So you see just at the top of the screen there, that little clip I'm putting on there is just the grounding clip for the uh, the static grass master. So shortly I'll start just flicking some grass around on there. So yeah, sorry for the camera angle there, but um, so you just see I'll, I'll, I'll work my way around methodically around just trying to get a nice even coverage of of the glue globs so you might be asking what sort of colors and lengths of grass do i use so with that mixture there i've got a probably a four mule a little bit of sort of a burnt brown type color i've got a sort of like a limey green also four mule and then i've got a two mule sort of a darker green so that's sort of how it is so every now and again i'll just tap off the excess and if needs be i'll go back in and um, top it up with some more Okay, so the next way I will make uh, static grass tufts. So that piece of board there is a four to six mil sort of a particle type board. And it's just a matter of drilling a hole at a hole. So they're about a, a centimetre. So one thing you need to be mindful of, and I'm not sort of doing it there, but I do go back in after and tidy it up, is when you're putting the glue globs in, so it's probably better to do it with a, a uh, like a skewer or, or something like of that nature, is you don't want to touch the sides because what that actually does, it makes the, the grass tufts a lot harder to lift. But what that uh, little jig will do, set in a more vertical alignment instead of more horizontal if uh, you don't have that. So as with the other little jig, it's just a matter of methodically going through and covering that all up. So that jig probably does it about 70 odd grass tufts. So then it's just a matter of, as before, you just go and run the static grass master over it. So I use this this fiber from Woodland Scenics to make the, the stems of the flowers. Now, there's various other ways you can you can do it. You can chop up old paint brushes and the like if you want to keep the cost down. So this is the, um, 
the jig that I've got going there. Now you can see, so the top of the screen there, I started adding it. So it's just a matter of grabbing a few of these fibers together, putting, dipping some glue on the end of it, and just basically pushing it into the in the flower, as you can see there. That one's obviously got a little bit too much glue in it, but what you can actually do, you sort of shape it down. Um, once the glue sort of starts going off a little bit, you sort of tease it up so they're a little more vertical. So it's just a matter of just working through. That one's a little bit better. The ones at the back, sort of the back three rows, uh, probably a little bit too much glue. So you just got to be a little bit mindful how much glue you are using because that'll dry. It, it does dry clear, but it's uh, you can sort of see the plasticky, sort of unrealistic shadow to it or shine. Now once you've sort of done them all, um, you can see that they've been removed from there. From the jig so that's just a matter of pulling the jig up carefully sometimes you're going to slide a knife around there but i wasn't going to bore you with that so and this is how i make the flowers so what you do you get a little glob of glue on the uh, the business card there and you pick them up with a pair of tweezers and dip them into to whatever color you want so i've got various colors so that's a pico sort of type color that's the uh the second of the colors that i have so that's like a hot pink type color so that's obviously come up quite nicely. Also to add a little variety, uh, like I've done there, all I've done is just dip that clump of static grass into the colouring without uh, the bull rust stem on it. So just adds a just a nice low little plant there. So here's probably the, the last one, and this is a yellow colour that I've got. So I just use three primary colours, um, all Pico sort of there, almost like a sawdust type um, consistency, but very vivid type colours. So, and that uh, more than services my needs. Okay, here's a little uh, bit of a showcase of what you can achieve when you put it all together. So some low ones, some high ones, uh, all the different colors that I've got. Now I've also got a purple one there, which I haven't shown, so hopefully I'll... Now this is a, a little diorama that I made up, which is a few inches by a few inches. Just the remaining uh, grass that I used, uh, all the different lengths and colors. So as you can see, if you put that together in a, a bigger diorama, that's got to look quite nice, or the rest of a layout. It's got to be a little bit mindful of how high you're making those bulrushes. I think maybe they possibly a little bit too long. Okay, guys, that's uh, the end of the video. So th thanks for watching. There are a few little photos there of... Uh, the flowers that I've used in situ on my layout. So hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Make sure you subscribe, click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Support us on Patreon, like us on Facebook and Instagram at Model Railroad Techniques.